Welcome to another episode of Greatness Quest. This is Trevor Crane. This is a video episode, so if you're listening to this, make sure you check out trevorcrane.tv. The subject for today is first period. First period. I know you're going to love this show. Cowboy. Welcome to a daily dose of Greatness Quest. With your host, Trevor Crane, my dad. He is going to help you take your life and business to the next level. Here I come to save the day. Trevor Crane here, 11-time number one best-selling author and the founder of Epic Author Publishing, coming to you live every day so you can plug in every day to build your ideal business so you can live your ideal life. If my daddy can do it, then anybody can do it because... He's a weirdo. You're supposed to make me sound cool. <laughs> okay, so welcome back. Uh, my daughter is 11 years old. And as much as she'd probably roll over and freak out that I'm actually going to do an episode about this, she just had her first period. Not today, but yesterday. And um, she's not freaking out about it. I freaking out about it a little bit like 11 years old honestly oh it's driving me crazy all right so now how's this relevant to you today and like why am I going to talk about this on uh on the show you know just the other day I shot a show about uh, my son's first steps and how we need to take baby steps and uh, you know that you got to get back up when you fall down so here's the thing about the first period there is there, there are a lot of firsts in our lives. You know, um, I, my daughter is going to play tennis for the first time here, here soon. You know, you and I went ahead and we had to make the decision to do a lot of things for the first time. You know, the first time driving. <laughs> the first time that you go on a date. The first time that you try to make a sale. The first time that you try to be a realtor or a doctor or you do brain surgery or something. There's all these firsts in our lives. And oftentimes as adults, we're scared to do the next first thing. But the cool thing about like my daughter with her having this, uh, you know, getting her first period, she is not freaked out about it. She's like, she knew it was coming. She knew it was coming sometime, like we thought it might come in a year or two or something. And now it has come when she's 11, which we think is a little early. But she's like, it's no big deal. And I was like, well, and, and I'm trying not to freak out about it. Like, I'm freaking out on the inside. I'm freaking out by telling you about it. But I mean, come on. What? Like, I, I know it was going to happen. And it's just me being a softie and wanting to keep my little girl a little girl. But here's what my daughter said to make me feel better. She said, I'll always be your little girl. So you and I get the opportunity to do a lot of things for the first time. You know, I got married for the first time. There's a million things, right? My question to you is what's going to be your new first thing? You know, what, what's, what's, what's it going to be? I went recently uh, skydiving. But not just skydiving, we did the inside skydiving. Uh, and recently, it was a year ago that we did it, um, and I wanna go do it again. Like, it was so super cool. I, there's a lot of things in this world we're not going to have a lot of time to do necessarily all of them. What is it that's gonna be your first thing? Is it gonna be your first Facebook Live? Is it gonna be your first uh, Facebook group? Is it gonna be the first time you post on Instagram? Is it gonna be your first book? How, did I bring it back around to books yet? Yes, I did. I'm bringing it back around to books. My daughter's 11 years old and she has 10 number one best-selling books. Have you written your book yet? Because I've got a show I'm going to shoot. I think I'll do it tomorrow on, or maybe, uh, maybe I'll actually shoot it and then I'll show this video later on how to write the right book fast. I'm gonna give you just my little synopsis on the steps that you need to go through so that you can write your first book and get it done really fast. But here's the thing, I believe that when you write a book or when you decide that you're gonna jump out of an airplane and go skydiving for the first time or whatever it is that's gonna be your first thing, that you should do it the right way. You should write the right book. I have people coming to me all the time that have written books and their books suck or they don't know how to use them in their marketing. 
and they got something done in a weekend or in a month or they bought some course or program or whatnot and they wrote a book that they don't know how to use and leverage into their mission and into what makes a difference and they're messing it up. So my show that I'm gonna share with you about how to write the right book fast, I'll share it with you how I got how, how I got my first book done in 24 hours and how it wasn't my first book idea, it wasn't my second book idea, it wasn't my third book idea, it was the fourth book idea that I shared with my book mentor. By the way, I think you need a book mentor. If you don't have a book mentor and someone to work with, then you're just gonna not do it the right way. It's like building a house. You know, you're gonna go build your first house all on your lonesome, all by yourself. You're gonna draw out the plans all by yourself and then you're gonna pour the concrete and then put up the, the shingles and do all that. Like, dude, get some help. My daughter, going through her first period, had some help. She called and talked to my mom. She talked, or my, my mom. She called and talked to my wife. She talked to her mother. Uh, she was prepared because we knew this was coming. So what are you gonna do? Like when I went and when I went skydiving, they gave me a damn parachute and then they walked me through training. And then when uh, I did the indoor skydiving, which is so super cool, I can't wait to do this uh, more. I, I wanna go fly around, do all this stuff. Like I went through a training and got support and help and I'm not on my own and I wasn't alone. So what is gonna be the new first thing that you're gonna go do? That's my question for you today. My challenge for you is to set the date. What is it? When are you going to go do this? Like I, it was a long time since I uh, had played sports. So I decided that the sport I was going to go play was tennis. Now I'm like tennis man. Okay. For like a month. <laughs> I've been playing tennis for a month, but I had to decide. Now I pulled into my garage. I'm home. So this episode's got to be over. So my challenge to you is to think about that next first. Is it skydiving? Is it snow skiing? Is it asking somebody out on a date? Is it starting a business? Is it writing your book? I don't know what it is, but whatever it is for you, don't be scared. Even if you are a little scared, my daughter who's 11 tried to make me feel better that she'll always be my little girl. So don't worry about it. Just go ahead and pick something and get started and I'll see you tomorrow another daily dose of Greatness Quest. To get even more awesomeness, which means all my best stuff, download my app by texting Trevor to 36260. It will show up right on your cell phone. Just text message the word Trevor to 36260. Talk to you soon.